Hey guys, this is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are in Claremont, right in the heart, minutes from the 50, couple minutes from the 27. Again, we're in John Lake's Landy by David Weekly Homes. Now, this is the summer lock right behind me. It is a four to six bedroom, three to four bathroom, depending on your plan and, your, and how you build it out. It's a three car garage with 3,061 square feet to 3,072 square feet, again, depending how you build a home out. Now, this home starts at $569.90 without lot, but the HOA is $700 a year, and there is no CDD. This is a great home. Now, remember, hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below because that keeps you in touch with us and lets you know when we put out videos every week. But enough of that, let's go see this beautiful home. Hey guys, here we are at the Summer Lock. Now, I want you to take a notice, guys. To me, and I don't know, you can disagree with me in the comments, it looks like a Dutch kind of house, right? I, but it's different from what we get here in Central Florida, especially in the Claremont area. I love the long side right here of the roof. Pam, it reminds me of like Laureate Park, where they have some of the houses that have that long side up, like the uh, Brewer, right? And yeah, but we, the windows are different. They are different, they are different. But I do like the slats, and I do like the peak here on this side above the two car garage, which is actually a three car tandem. We'll show you that in a minute. But the main focus of the home on the outside is this small foyer with a step up. I love that. Now, come on with me, guys. We do have these gray pavers leading up. Has a nice look to it. David Weekly is really good with the finishings. We have this pane glass door here, which is nice. And then as we enter the home, you can tell this is a highly upgraded model because we have the wood fold tiles going all the way through, right? But I love this pillar right here, which leads us around to your flex room area, right? Here's the flex room. So it's a nice space, nice size, but we have those three windows that Pam was talking about. Very long windows right here, letting in natural light into the room. Love how they decorated the room with the fan and how it's kind of cornered off. Very nice. Now, as we proceed forward, we have our first powder room here with the uh, pedestal stink. And then as you turn around, what we have is the stairways going up. We're gonna get to the second floor in a minute, but I'll show you that in a second. But across from the stairway here, this will be drywalled off, right? Because this is the, the three car tent in the garage. If you come in, if you come in, sorry, if you come in this way, I just wanna show you real quickly from this point, because none of this will look the same. It's just that you'll have an entry from the laundry room into the garage, and then that space over here will be your tandem into the garage. But it won't look like this, of course, it'll look like a garage. <laughs> But you can have an idea of like these two offices will be the two car garage spaces and then that deep pocket is the third. Now moving forward guys, back into the main trunk of the home. We're gonna move forward and the home opens up. Now before we go to the goody goody good parts, we're gonna go right here back into this laundry room because I wanna present it to you at least. Love the like starlight tile that they have on the floor. And I love the built out they have the here's the washer and dryer also with a little table here and then you have a nice little closet here for your data panels and storage me over with the door. sorry <laughs> <laughs> so here's your data panel and storage right and then you have now this laundry room is 15 by 11. yes and then I do, do like the build outs that you have here. It's like a little drop and stop and then like a mud bench here with the little shelving and hooks here. Very nice. Oop, I'm gonna break the door. <laughs> now coming forward back out guys, 
we do have our kitchen area, which is gorgeous. Love the white quartz going all the way across. What's the size of this island, Pam? Eight by four. Eight by four is the size of this island. You, you can see you can fit, what, four people here easily, maybe two more at the ends. Love the industrial gooseneck. Love the dark cabinets versus the light cabinets on each side. I missed, missed it. it. I missed it again. <laughs> and, and Pam was taking measurements this time. <laughs> so we have the built-in for the fridge here with the overhang, which is very nice. Then we have, I love the light gray. I, I like gray um, with the dark handles, very nice. But then you have this like brick subway tiles, but it has that rough edge of feel. You have your electric cooktop here with your oven below and your microwave that I believe does vent out. There we go, look at that. Vents outside of the home to take away those smells, especially when you're making fish, right? You wanna get that out the house. <laughs> 42 inch cabinets with the crown molding on top. Lots of counter space, as you can tell here. Lots of cabinetry on the top and bottom. Dishwasher here on the side. I love the little nook door here. Those are very interesting always. Then moving forward, we're gonna put Pam to go on an adventure into the pantry slash Harry Potter room closet. This is an adventure. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yes. So plenty of storage for your food, you know, just in case you have a zombie apocalypse, you can have all that water back there, <laughs> right? So then what I love is that the home opens all the way up. So the hallway space stays open, has lots of space, walking in between, right? But then you have your gathering room here, and then you have your informal dining room here. Love the bay windows, three of them letting in more natural light into the home. I love that they're bigger than normal. They are bigger than normal. I did notice that. They have good size to them, so lots of light flushing in. I can see all the way to the lake from here. It's amazing. So, you know, this is where the family will sit to have meals. This is a great spot. We move over into the... Go ahead, Pam. And it's 24, 24 feet by 17 feet. Is that just this or both? That's this whole area. This whole area is 24 wall. by... From this wall all the way to that wall. And that's 24 by what? 17. 17. So that's a lot of space, guys. 24 by 17. And, you know, you have the informal dining. Then you have the gathering room here. Lots of beautiful moments here. That's a TV. Yes, I do agree. That's how you do it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we step out backwards into the owner's retreat, I want to step out and show you this area real quick because you know, Florida is all about indoor, outdoor living. And we have this gorgeous patio out here, guys. Lovely, love it. What's the size on this, Pam? 20 by eight. 20 by eight is the size of this patio. This is empty. You can put anything out here, another TV, maybe another outdoor kitchen, anything you might want out in this area here, maybe a fireplace, you know, you have a backyard, but then the seating area is just really, I love it. Very nice. You do have speakers out here, so that is an option if you wanted to add that, right? And we'll show you that on B-roll. And, but again, sliding pocket doors behind the uh, formal informal dining room, which is so great because, you know, if you want that breeze to come in, you're having a meal in February, Thanksgiving just passed, so it is a lot more cooler and breezier out here. That's a good option. It is very breezy here. Yeah, I like it. I like it, it feels so good. So. But then you have these uh, opening doors here, like French doors on the other side. I like the combination. You always just see like sliding doors. I like that it's mismatched. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, now we're gonna go into our downstairs owner's retreat. That is through here. So as we walk through, I love the elegant design that they put to this, to this home. But now just take a look first. I'm already going onto my butts. <laughs> It's 16 by 13. 16 by 13 is the size of this bedroom. It's a good size for our owner's retreat. But we're positioning for a reason. Look at these windows. Amazing. I love it. Especially this one is unobstructed glass straight through. Pam, you have a size on this length? The picture window is five by three. This picture window is five by three. That means like if you put a pool, jacuzzi, 
or a nice feature in the backyard, you'll be able to wake up in the morning and look at that feature unobstructed, no lines, straight out. Love Beautiful. that. And I do love how the other windows are knee height, of course, like I always say, giving you more window real estate so that light just floods into the room, guys. Now we have enough space for two bench seats here, a cadenza here, leading in to our owner's retreat bath. And let's start with the two sink vanity here. Love that mirror. That mirror is amazing. I like it with the lights. Yes, so elegant. I love that design. And here is the all important commode or thinking room. Okay, pass that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then we have a grand shower. Two transom windows. I love the elegant, like, soft look that they did with the tiling and then the Listello in the middle. Pam, if you want to come through and show them how big that is. It's actually eight feet long. Eight feet long. That is amazing. And the windows make the difference. And, and it has a rain head shower. Hey. I missed that again. Yeah. <laughs> what in here? That, let me tell you, rain head shower is the way to go, guys. Long day, you know, at work, you just sit under that thing and just forget the world. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a walk-in closet here on the back side. Nice and large. I like how wide it is. Yeah, I like it that you have these little niches. You can put your shoes. Yeah. You can put a barnyard door here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that this is a model, so there will be a door there, but you can change that door for certain options that you might like better. All right, guys, now leaving the homeowner's retreat, I think we have upstairs to show. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs. Stay with us because there's a lot more nice things to show you. All right, guys, here we are in the upstairs of the summer lock. And as soon as you get upstairs, I just need to show you and highlight how beautiful these stairs are with that modern railing going down. But what me and Pam truly love is that picture window above the stairways, letting the light flood into the stairway area. So you didn't even have to turn on the lights in the daytime. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it's nice. And now we come in on the left of the stairs into this big loft area. Now, Pam, what's the size of this loft area? 17 by 13. 17 by 13. And we have two windows here for natural light that see out to the front of the home. Love that. That was the tall part that we were talking about earlier, but love that they have this nice TV out here, cadenza. You can fit a nice little small L couch here and still have space, uh, so to speak, here. Lots of furniture here. You have a closet there in the corner, but then moving forward, we're gonna go this way real quick. We'll show you this area last. And when we get into the hallway, the first thing we come upon is a shared bath that has the vanity, large mirror, cabinets below. Then you have tile all the way up the way it should be with a tub and a commode on the backside. And it ain't like that. <laughs> so moving on, we have two more bedrooms here, here and here. And then on uh, across from the bathroom, just real quick, we have our utility closet. So just want to let you know this house does come with AC. <laughs> but we have one here and one here. And let's go into this room. Now, I love the size of these bedrooms, even if they're made for small children, the way they designed them, there's plenty of space. This is a full-size bed, right? With lots of space over here, window for natural lighting, right? You look at all the space on the other side over there. You could probably put a chair in that corner and you have enough space here between, well, you have a walk-in closet, yes. Sorry, I just went ahead. <laughs> right? And then to continue on, what I was saying, uh, we have the full-size bed and the credenza here and plenty of walking space with your mirror here. So moving on, Plus, I love how it's decorated. Yes, I love the astronaut theme. For the princess of the home and for her friends that come to visit, this we, is the best. we love this. This little camping setup, double uh, bunk bed here. Of course, you have your windows for natural lighting. She has her little drawing table here and this cadenza for her books and clothes and stuff. 
But the princess needs closet space. So she has her own walk-in closet. Of course. <laughs> it is not complete without a walk-in closet, right guys? Now moving on, back into the hallway section, we're gonna look at the right side of the home. Now off of the loft, we have a little setup here for a desk, so there's lots of space again. This home comes with lots of spaces in the in-between, which I love. But there is a closet here for, like they're showing, your game oh board, your God. games. I used to have this when I was a kid like this. <laughs> focus, Pam, focus. I know. <laughs> so, but that's a great closet for a game night where you can put your games and all the stuff that supply the loft area, which is very nice. But here is the highlight of the second floor. We come into this room, and this is for the older princess who's about to become a queen, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is her bedroom, right? And why I say that, well, first we have three windows here for natural lighting. So you have these little slanted windows up here on the top, and then you have this regular window, lots of light coming in. Beautiful full-size bed here with the two nice stands. Love the way they decorated. But two reasons why this is for an older queen or princess of the home. Your own bathroom. This is an ensuite, guys. So you do have your vanity, your mirror, you have your shower, all private, all for that older teenage or that likes their privacy. So, and the second part of this bedroom that makes it special is this huge walk-in closet here with a window. Yeah, they don't chimp on, uh, skimp on closets. No, they do not. Lots of space. Yes, it, it, this house would meet everybody's needs in your family. I mean, bathrooms and closet sizes all over. So guys, give me a few seconds. I got a couple more details for you and I'm gonna let you know what's going on. Guys, did the summer lock make sense for you and your family? Well, out here in the center of Claremont, near the 27, near the 50, give me a call if it makes sense, 407-790-0929. Me and my team are always here to help you out. My name is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor, and I'll see you guys on the next video.